Welcome to Francis Quilts, the site dedicated to the wonderful art of quilting, with a few other fun things thrown in as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Francis Quilts. Today I want to talk about needle threaders. You know, when I was young, I could just pick up that needle and stick that thread through it and not have any issues. But today, these nice little reading glasses are a permanent fixture in my life, and I have to have them for everything that I do. But even with the glasses, I'm still finding needles hard to thread. I know we all have our favorite needle threader, but I thought I would just share with you today uh, four of the ones that I like, and um, maybe one of them will be something new that you'll want to try. Before we have a look at some of these needle threaders, I had one in particular that I wanted to show you that's a very special one to me. This came out of my mother's house. I found it in her sewing box. Honestly, I think it probably belonged to my grandmother at some point in time. Um, but here's a, a nice little holder here that we have for it and you open it up and here's the needle threader and look, it has this nice little embossed image of this uh, woman. I'm sure she's a quilter. Um, but this is a very special one from a long time ago. If you look, it really isn't that much different to the ones that we use today. It still has the, uh, the little um, um, wire here down at the bottom. The shape's basically the same. So many of us have used these needle threaders. I know I have used it for a long, long time. There's a couple of problems with them though. First of all, you still have to get that wire right there into that hole. And although it's easier than pushing a uh, flexible thread through that hole, it still can be sometimes hard to do. And then you have to, of course, take your thread and run it through that little hole that's there. And sometimes that's difficult to do. And then pull it out and your needle's threaded. But we also know too that many times these wires break very easily. So a lot of times you'll think, oh, that was easy, only to find out that the wire has broken here at the end and you haven't threaded anything at all. So let me show you a few options. The first one I want to show you is the Bowen Easy Needle Threader. Uh, I first heard about this from Becky Goldsmith. Uh, she's with Piece of Cake Designs and I believe they're selling them on their website. You might check that out. It is a uh, designed to sit on a table. When I am working on something in the den, I have it sitting on the coffee table just beside my chair so that I'm ready to go anytime I need to thread a needle. Let me demonstrate how this needle threader works. And in all honesty, I consider it to be magical in how it works. All you do is you take your needle and you put it in the one of the ends. If you're using a larger needle, you can use this side. If you're using a smaller needle or smaller eyed needle, you can use that other one. So I've just set it in there. I haven't worried about where the hole is, the eye is, or anything else. It's just sitting in there. Now you just take your thread and sit it in there, but you kind of pop it down. It kind of, there's a little groove there that it will fit in. Now you push down on this button right here and somehow it knows to turn that needle around so that the eye is in the right place and it pushes that thread through. You see it's coming out right here. You can do that and then you grab a hold of that thread, pull the, eye, the needle out, and look, it's threaded and ready to go. I have no idea how it knows which direction to turn that needle so that it fits that, hits that eye, but it does it almost every time. And as an extra bonus, it also has a thread cutter right there that you can use. This is the next one that I want to show you. It is a very simple design. It just has this little disc. If you look closely, there is a bar coming out with a little hook on it, and that's all there is to this particular needle threader. Now, it's a little fiddly until you get used to it. So if, you, if the first time you try it and you go, wow, I really don't like that, try it a time or two more and see if you don't like it better. But you can take a needle, even this is a fairly small eyed needle, and I'm just going to take that and push it through there. Now I know I still have to push it through the eye of the needle, but because it is solid, because this is a solid straight bar, it's much easier to do than uh, the ones with the wire. Now I'm going to take my thread and I'm just going to lay it over the top here. Now this is the part that's a little bit hard because you kind of have to learn to hold onto the thread and the needle at the same time. And I'm just going to pull back like that and look. That needle is threaded and ready to go. Very easy to do. Um, you know, and I, I bought a whole bunch of these at one time and I have them all over my house. Every one of my little sewing boxes has at least one of those in it. But what if you are doing some uh, needlepoint or something like that where you're using a large piece of yarn 
and a large eyed needle. Now you would think that this would be very easy just to stick through there, but we know with all of these different little bits, you know, we may spit on it or do all sorts of things, it's still hard to get through there. So that is where this particular needle threader comes into play. Again, I bought these, I think I bought 50 of them for $3.99 on uh, Amazon. So they're not expensive and they are really wonderful for this kind of work. So in this case, I'm gonna use the larger end of this threader because I'm using a larger thread and I'm just gonna push that through the eye of my needle. And you see there's even a little hook there that the needle will sit on, which makes it nice and easy to do, to use. Then I'm gonna take my yarn and just put it in that little uh, hook right there that's designed for it. Now when you're ready to pull this back there's a couple things you have to watch for. One is that you don't get this turned so that that hook is is on the outside of the eye of the needle. You want to make sure that it is squared up with the eye of the needle and sometimes you may have to get a little rough with it. It's not something uh, if the yarn is really thick you're putting two layers of yarn through there as well as the needle threader. So you may have to give it a little tug but doesn't take a whole lot and that needle is threaded and ready to go. So I hope you found something here that you might like to try to make your sewing and quilting life a little bit easier. But the main thing here is let's do whatever we have to to get those needles threaded and get on with our quilting life. Thanks for joining me here and I hope to see you again soon. Remember if you like what you've seen be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out my website and daily blog at francisquilts.com and I can be found on Facebook and Instagram at Francis Quilts. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.